What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today we're on location at Taco Bell to talk to you about two brand new menu items that they have. Um, on the food end of the menu, we've got the double cheesy gordita crunch. And on the drink side, we have got the caramel apple freeze. So um, I don't know, which one should we get into first? Maybe the food? Yeah, food. Do food first. So the double cheesy gordita crunch uh, adds to like the, I guess the regular cheesy gordita crunch, which is a crunchy taco with spicy ranch inside. Of course, it's got the ground beef, lettuce, uh, cheese. And then in between is traditionally just cheese. Now they're actually adding another layer of ground beef. So you get double the beef and outside holding it all together is a gordita. Would you call it a gordita shell? That's what I want to call it. Gordita, gordita wrap, you know, anyway, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Mm. That's what it looks like inside. A lot mm. of layers. A lot of layers. You know, I gotta tell you. So with the way that they name it, they really put a lot of focus on cheesy, right? And I think that that's because in the original, so in the cheesy gordita crunch, it's the same everything except with less beef. So the cheesiness comes through, really pops. Really, what I'm tasting mostly is is the beef, is 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 the taco meat. I I'm tasting very little cheese. Hmm. That ranch is really good. A little bit spicy. This thing is super messy. Um, I like the contrast of the soft gordita shell in the hard taco shell. Um, lettuce is nice and crisp and the, um, I don't know, it's just not quite as cheesy as I would have expected. It's really not very cheesy at all as far as I'm concerned. Brian, you want to try a little bit of that? So, so yeah, overall, I would say it's pretty good. Um, so one, one, I guess, important distinction to make is that the cheesy gordita crunch is $3.19. This double cheesy cord, uh, uh, gordita crunch is $3.49. So it's a 30 cent difference, but you get double the beef. I think that that's definitely worth your money. And it's offered in a $5 double cheesy gordita box with two crunchy tacos and a drink for five bucks. So that's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to compete with that much food for five bucks, just about anywhere. So, um, so yeah, I gotta say, not not too bad. But um, I could go for it. I'd go for it a little bit cheesier. I need a triple triple cheesy gordita crunch, I think. But uh, nonetheless, I'm gonna get into the freeze element, the drink part of our review here. This is the caramel apple freeze. We've talked about. Uh, several different freezes here. Actually, just at the beginning of the summer, we talked about the watermelon freeze with the candy pits in it. We talked about uh, the red uh, Skittles freeze. You know, they're just always doing something different. They've had Airheads White Mystery freeze. They've had Airheads Blue Raspberry freeze. They've had multiple flavors of Starburst freezes. And um, yeah, this is the, the first try at a caramel apple and I think man it's got a very 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 bright like Jolly Rancher green apple green <laughs> about it with I did see they were actually squirting the the caramel in it so the the caramel is not mixed in with the apple it's actually its own it's its own thing so just to make that distinction there I'm gonna Give this a shot. It looks like a lot of the caramel does kind of fall to the bottom pretty quickly. 
I mean, there's pretty much no lag time between when we got it and we, when we started filming the review. So I'd say about five minutes and the caramel's largely at the bottom, but that's where you're going to be sucking it down anyway. Pretty good. Really tastes a lot like those caramel apple pops that you would get at Halloween, you know? Um, the green apple, nice, perfectly sour. Um, really a good flavor. A lot like a, a, a green apple lollipop. And then the caramel around it is is an interesting kind. It's a it's a more it's a more watery and slightly sweeter caramel than I anticipated. Maybe a little a little similar to a um, like a Snickers ice cream bar caramel more than the one that you would find in a traditional Snickers bar. So not too bad, very drinkable. Like it is super sweet, but I do kind of want more. It's nice. Ryan, I'm gonna let you give this a shot here. I'm gonna get into the gimmick grades. So we'll start out with the gimmick grade of a double cheesy gordita crunch. Um, look, when the cheesy gordita crunch came out in 2000, that was probably a super crazy idea. I know they even did a SNL commercial parody where they were like wrapping like a pizza around stuff and all that. Um, you know, I gotta say, uh, at that time it was probably super innovative and I would have gone pretty crazy for it. But it's been on the menu for almost two decades. All that they did was add beef to that layer of cheese. So the idea isn't really striking me as something super crazy or super interesting. So I'm gonna give the gimmick a four. Um, now the gimmick of a caramel apple freeze, I think is actually pretty interesting. Definitely a step down from the watermelon with the candy pits or like using an actual brand of candy like Skittles or Starburst. So not quite to their usual level of innovation for the freezes, but still pretty good, pretty close. I'm gonna give the gimmick, I'm gonna give the gimmick of this a seven. Not, not bad, um, certainly. Uh, if you get it during happy hour, it's only a dollar. That's two to 5 p.m. That's when we should have got it. It's 2.59 for us, so. Uh, you know, it wasn't two and a half times better than if we would have had it at 4.59 p.m. <laughs> um, that's not affecting the gimmick, but I'm just saying, if you're going to get it because it looks interesting, get it at happy hour. Uh, now, to get into a capsule countdown, ranking these two by taste, um, I'm going to give... Um, these are pretty darn even, actually. Both have their flaws. Both have their strengths. Um, but I'm going to give second place to the Caramel Apple Freeze. Um, really, it's solid. I like it. Um, very, very sweet. Uh, but I don't know. It's not, it's not like, I just don't, I don't think it's bringing like a super unique flavor to the table. I don't, um. I don't know. It's like it's like what you would think of one of those caramel apple pops, basically. I mean, that's that's what it's supposed to taste like. So, mission accomplished. They did what they set out to do. But I'd give the I'd give the taste about a six, about a six out of ten. Um, it's the kind of thing you get it one time. It's okay. I could drink the whole thing. Not too bad. Which for something that's this sweet, uh, I'd say a six out of ten. And being able to say that I could finish it is is probably a pretty high compliment. Uh, so yeah, second place on today's Capsule Countdown. First place on today's Capsule Countdown, um, in spite of the fact that it's not absolutely perfect, does go to the Double Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Very meaty. Which is a huge pro. Because that's where you're getting your money's worth. I also really like the spicy ranch that they use. I think that the sauce is really good. Ryan, what did you think of the sauce? Very good. Like it. All right. Almost too ranchy. Uh, almost ranch. too ranchy. Okay. It's bite to bite. Some some bites are way too ranchy, so I'll give you that. Some bites are perfectly ranchy. It's a very inconsistent delivery mechanism. You know, like everything is just kind of wedged in there. So some bites, some bites are getting a lot. Some bites are getting a little. But I mean. 
I don't know. I guess you could say that about just about any anything on a Taco Bell menu. <laughs> you know, it's not like a burger where everything is really consistent every bite. But yeah, I like I like the sauce. Um, I thought that the uh, yeah the taco inside was was really good. It stayed crunchy even though it was enveloped in cheese and beef, and uh, and that's pretty impressive. And I like the contrast between the soft shell and the hard shell. So overall. Pretty freaking good. Uh, I give it a, uh, I give it a seven and a half. Not too bad. Um, you know, would I take it over a regular cheesy gordita crunch? Yeah, because it's more substantial and it's worth it for an extra thirty cents. So, seven and a half. First place on today's capsule countdown, and I would order it over the thing at Taco Bell that I never order. <laughs> Um, well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the review, and I hope that you like this cons consistent, steady stream of uh, on-location reviews that we're doing. Lots of interesting stuff going on at restaurants right now. Go back and check out that Carl's Jr. mini Fruit Loop donut review, because that's definitely the craziest thing going down. Um, but really, guys, uh, have you had a chance to try this? And, um, and what do you think if you have? And uh, will you try it if you haven't yet? So... Let's, uh, let's hear what you have to say, and until next time, of course, I will miss you until I see you.